All right, today I'm going to be doing a product review. Um, uh, this is the We Are Memory Keepers 123 Punch Board. Um, I will have a link to the product in the description down below if you would like to purchase it. Um, but I was looking for something that would actually benefit me with making cards and things and something that would be useful for more than one thing. And so what I came across when I started looking, um, I really couldn't beat the price. It's, it's in that $20 range. And this actually does m what you would probably have to buy multiple punch boards to do. Um, this actually makes um, envelopes, it makes bows, and it makes boxes, but it also makes envelopes that are a little more um, thicker, if you will. I actually use this. <coughs> I actually use this to make um, a little box to put... Um, a card set in so as you can see it's it's a pretty nice size and everything just kind of folds together um, but I'm going to actually demonstrate this product it, like I said it's a really great product um, it comes with an instruction book that tells you how to make multiple items including coin envelopes um, different the boxes how to make the little bows so there's the little bows that you could use for um, your projects um, but it comes with this and so much more so I'm going to be demonstrating the ease of use as you'll notice there are multiple little score lines it comes with a little um, scoring tool and basically to make an A2 size card you would go ahead and cut your um, paper down to an eight and a quarter inch square and it gives you on the little guide here I have to pull that into screen um, but it tells you exactly where your punch guide is going to be so once you make the first punch everything else is easy so I have the A2 card and I want to go to three and five eighths inch so I would just go over to the 3 and 5 eighths inch and I'd make my first punch. I would insert the scoring tool and I would score all the way out to the end. Then I would simply line up this into the little groove on the other side. punch and score and continuing to do that until I actually reach the last side like so and I can just use it this way or it has a rounder so I can take and put the end and round off those corners like so and then all I have to do is fold add some adhesive So I would add some adhesive, and because I don't like that up, I put a little extra adhesive toward the top, and I generally just fold mine under, like so. And then I use a tear adhesive if this is something that I'm selling, or I can just put the adhesive and have it all ready to mail. 
and so it makes the perfect size for the cards that oh. I actually made. To create a box, what we're going to do is we'll start with the right size paper, and so this one um, starts with this. We're going to make a two and a half by two and a half by two and a half um, box. And so we're going to start by putting it where it tells us to make our first mark. And so that is going to be the M. And we will take and score on A and B. So we will start this way. And then we will go... Oops. We'll go this way. It'd be easier if I could like turn everything. And then what we will do is turn it 90 degrees. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, before I even move it, um, we have to score over here too. And so that is this little section right here that we would score. Then we turn it on. <clears throat> And just keep <clears throat> making your score lines. Then we'll go back, we'll go to this side. And now we're going to line up over here and create that. And now that we have everything that's kind of been marked off, I'm going to go ahead and round off. Oops. Round off my corners. And then I can just kind of clean that up. And now I'm going to start folding my box like so. <clears throat> it's kind of like a Chinese takeout. Just like so. And then if you're wanting to glue the sides, tuck it in or put a string around the top so as you can see it makes like different types of boxes and 
envelopes. I really enjoy it for the bows and the envelopes. Um, as well as for like the little coin envelopes that you can make. Um, and for the ones that you can create and put like if you if you're making like a pack of cards if you sell cards like I do um, This works really great and for it to you know be like an all-in-one um, Type of deal could not beat the price and I would rather have one product rather than having several different products so that is my review of the We Are Memory Keepers 123 Punch Board. Um, like I said, in the link below, the link will be in the description below. Um, and you can click on that, and it'll take you straight to where you can order these and purchase your own. But um, for more, you know, tool tips and tutorials and things like that, be sure to subscribe to my channel and. Be sure to like the video. Liking the video goes a long way in helping me to understand what kind of content that you would like to see in the future. So, hope you enjoyed this. Have a great and blessed day.